Hi friends, thank you guys so much for coming back and joining me as we continue on with our Netflix's adaptation of Avatar The Last Airbender Reactions. We're heading in to episode four today. Last episode was a little bit, not a misdirect, but I thought we were going to be seeing Boomy and the shenanigans where he puts Aang through the ringer in that episode, but it turned out to be meshing actually some other plot points from book one. And I liked the changes that they made where we've left off. I believe now this is going to take us into the arc where Aang confronts Boomy. I believe that's where this is headed and I'm excited because we only got a little glimpse of Boomy in the last episode and he's I think I'm most curious to see but also where this is going to pick up because we left off with Jet you know Katara interfered with their plans in order to assassinate I'm curious as to how that is going to be addressed as well now that we know that Jet is off the rails yeah now saw that coming but yes I think this is gonna be a fun episode I'm excited so let's get right into it episode four into the dark Oh, hello. And these are most definitely not. It's good to see you, young Avatar. <laughs> he started the fight and left you behind and ran away. I'm really starting to see what kind of person he is. <clears throat> Were you working with the enemy? Oh, his son is so sweet. I was trying to protect you. The firebender said that they would kill us. Any weapons to the enemy? Weapons? No. No, no, no. Just minor designs. We do what we must. To survive, my father would have never done what you did. Ooh, burn, burn. Whoa. <laughs> mm, into the dark. What could that mean? A monster seriously looks. Oh wait, what? No, don't do this. Don't That's do this to me. Goes so hot to catch me. You could show him this isn't the way. He'll listen to you. It is I who owe him far more than I can ever repay. Leaves from the vine. Don't do that. <gasps> no. Omashu's prison is deep in the heart of the mountain, surrounded by solid rock. The avatar is lost. <laughs> what about the tunnels? The secret tunnels. Secret tunnel. <laughs> secret tunnel. <laughs> we'll worry about that. Just help us get inside. Where are you taking us? To the pit. The pit? Oh my. You're not as lucky. You're going to see the king. <laughs> oh, hello. It's my Fire Nation contact. Any resistance and they'll send everything they've got at us. Let them come. The Avatar has returned to the world. It's time to stop hiding. Let's go, kid! Yes! Yes! Oh, I love his spirit. Oh, here we go! Oh my gosh! <laughs> what is this gonna be like? The prisoner you requested is an airbender. Lotus root, pine bark, dried jasmine. What? Tea? Oh, okay. <laughs> gonna go down differently. Is Jet gonna show back up? I'm scared. Ooh, her water bending pouch. Yeah. Ah, F. Betrayed us. <sighs> Spies, traitors. Is that who you want to save? You have to make hard decisions. That's what it means to fight a war. I told you to remember my mother, and I did. You're not fighting for anything you love. You're fighting because of hate. Just like the firebenders. Burn. Oh yes! Take him out! <laughs> Yo! 
go. She's got her pouch. Oh, when'd she learn that? <laughs> Ah, his performance was so good. He was just like in the show, made my blood bleh, just curl. Sir, I was assigned prisoner transfer duty. The old firebender was taken to the pit. The other one's still here. Yeah, the Balkan. The king wanted to see him. You've got the choice. Shortridge from Kangaroo Island. And the other. Do you each do? Heard it really helps with your complexion. That was a good one. I'll take the stiff. I don't eat meat. Good choice. Was this a test? What? <laughs> you always liked games, didn't you? Mm, here we go. The world is on fire. People are dying. And you? All the airbenders were wiped out. It was a tragedy. And it might happen again. Which is why <laughs> let me go. Don't you care? You dare tell me I should care? Here we go. They're really laying it on thick. Everyone's like, everybody is really like guilt tripping Aang and emphasizing how long he's been gone, how bad it was. Oh my god, are we getting Secret Tunnel? Tell me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Oh god. You should probably see this. It's a tale of two lovers. Oh Oma and Shuman on top of the mountain that divided their two villages. They learned earth bending from the badger moles, becoming the first earth benders. Oh, this is really cool. Both villages helped her build a new city where they would live together in peace as a monument to their love. Love is brightest in the dark. Y'all not gonna join? Y'all not gonna play Secret Tunnel along the way? <laughs> yeah, let's go! Thank God! Oh, I thought we weren't gonna get it for a second. That was beautiful. Oh, we're getting a prison break. Let's go. Someone might be tempted to take matters into their own hands. Now, is there anything I can do to make your journey more comfortable? Oh! It's a long ride to the pit, and I've got all the time in the world. Hmm, facing, uh, facing the consequences of his past. He's changed! A word of advice, a direct path is not always the best path. Oh, God. <laughs> Baby! Oh! This looks so cool. Oh my. Love is brightest in the dark. Get it? It was a clue. It's a path. It said love is brightest in the dark. Not glowy rocks. Katara, what is your problem? My problem is you're not taking me seriously. Says the girl who fell for a terror. That's not what happened. You should have never talked to him. You don't get to tell me who I can talk to. Dad put me in charge. You're not dad! Guess we're not in Wolf Cove anymore, are we? Imagine if Grand Grand could see us now. You better get going. Uh, you're gonna regret this. No, Bossing say the city had to ration fresh water after the first year of the siege. We got special privileges. I'm probably will. We gather food and water from his platoon and give them to the children. He was on watch the night you torched the eastern wall. There was nothing left of him to bury. All those lives lost. Was it worth it? I was a soldier. You were a butcher. Oh, I'm getting chills. His past. Oh. Ah! Yeah. You're really gonna regret that. War pushes us to the edge. Some of us don't like what we find there. Oh god. Nothing of loss. 
Oh. Oh, F. Is it true he abandoned the siege? Yes. So, his son dies a hero and he'll be forever known as a coward. No, what the frick? They're showing this. Ten will forever be hailed as a champion of the Fire Nation. Uncle, what a great honor to die in the service of the Fire Nation. Oh, God. When Ten gave me this. Oh, the leaves for the fire. Oh. He was the strongest person I knew. This is also cool because it shows that Zuko is sweet. <laughs> oh. He's gonna go ham. Oh. That's not right. The tunnels are changing. Mm -hmm. The fearsome challenge. A true test of whether or not you are prepared to be the Avatar. Who cares about old saving the world? Mm. How about the goof off? Am I right? He's really laying it on thick. Let's play one final. <laughs> Frick. Here we go. Oh my god, I'm so excited. You versus me. Here we go. To the death. <laughs> Oh god, run. Any chance I imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it looks really good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, frick. Here we go. Y'all are gonna pay. Okay, dragon. Show them who you are. Oh, frick. Oh, jeez. Oh, god. Oh God. Do it. We've all seen enough death. Ah! That's what you get for showing your birth bender compassion. Oof. Ah. Ugh. Ah. Oh God. We're oh Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. The creatures all look really freaking good. <laughs> it wasn't about the crystals. That's not what guided Oma and Shu through the mountain. All this brightest in the dark. How do you think they do with verbal commands? Uh, <laughs> we really appreciate it. you can show us the way to the palace. Oh my gosh. I feel like the earth bending in this show, the way it has translated to live action, might be my favorite. <laughs> nice. The cabbages. It seems 
means we are always getting on or off boats. Perhaps that is our lot in life, Prince Uko. Mm, I love the way their relationship is very much accurately translated. Ooh! <laughs> Fresh scar. Oh, good. It's not too late. I've come fully prepared. All the tea I need. Mm. I don't need a babysitter. How about a friend? <sighs> don't hit me with this again. Jesus, this song will never not make me tear up. Not to return until I find the avatar. It could be a very long time before we return home. Mm. Everything I need is on this boat. Get you home. Mm. Dang. Well, they've definitely been dedicating a lot of effort to keeping, maintaining that relationship, you know, with Zuko and Iroh in this episode, giving that look at, you know, uh, Luten's funeral and whatnot. And they're definitely tapping in a lot here to who he who he really is if you chip all that away, you know, who he was before he reached this hardened place, you know, with all of this baggage and being scarred emotionally and physically, you know, by his father and whatnot. There was a portion here, you know, when Aang was talking about Zuko and reflecting on, you know, I think I know him well enough at this point. And, you know, Iroh kind of kept his mouth shut, but I was, I was curious if he was going to suggest you don't really know, you know, you have no idea what he's been through. We haven't necessarily gotten. Uh, the backstory of the Agni Kai reveal yet necessarily, it's, you know, focusing on Iroh's background and the fact that he has faced, you know, that's one of the reasons why he too is an amazing character. It's because, yeah, you know, he has baggage, but he has reckoned with and definitely looked in the mirror and faced the repercussions of, you know, the, what he has inflicted, you know, in this war. He knows that he's contributed to it and of course resents it and look at what he's lost, you know, he's lost so much as well, but that's what makes him such an in incredible character. The most lovable character it's like yes he's committed all of this tragic awful stuff you know in the name of war he's able to recognize that you know he has grappled with that so they definitely there was a lot they dug a lot into arrow this episode which i was not uh, not anticipating but then zuko as well you know the big decision there whether to pursue ang he knows he's got the avatar right there as well or to go and save iroh so they definitely did a lot to work on their relationship in this episode and same with sokka and katara lots of dealing with the relationship at hand here. Visually, this episode was so beautiful. Again, I just can't stop fixating on the production design, the artistic, you know, creative decision making to really just differentiate and, you know, the saturation of all of the green. It kind of almost had like Wizard of Oz vibe. And I think that's what I was just most excited to see again in this episode. Amashu especially has looked really visually stunning. I mean, those shots, the panoramic shots of the city from a distance, it's just incredible you know you get so much more of the textures and the colors as we know them you know in real life natural colors yes but they still really dialed up the saturation here to maintain that kind of almost fantastical you know what they're able to capture in animation so that it does feel still like otherworldly you know it doesn't feel necessarily like that's a color palette that would occur in our real in our real everyday lives but you know true to the nature of this show it's more vibrant and whatnot i will say maybe it's just because it's been condensed and the story here is originally spread out across what is it like 20 plus episodes in the animated first season so here being narrowed down to eight you know they really have to kind of start scratching away immediately at the character development internal conflict and maybe it's just me but i feel like everywhere ang has gone he's definitely been faced with people grilling him you know like kiyoshi everyone in the water tribe even grand grand was like laying it on pretty thick when she was explaining to him like what has happened what has transpired the harsh reality of where he's been all this time and now here with boomy everyone has really been grilling him i feel like to face the music which is true to the story you know and kind of dances around a little bit his responsibilities you know we saw in previous episodes he was kind of having a little bit of trepidation when Katara offered to train with him you know he definitely has that avoidance which is of course triggered by the fear you know the the fear of this weight of the world on his shoulders and the acceptance and recognition of the fact that all of this tragedy transpired because of his decision to run away even though he couldn't have known you know he couldn't have to wake up from a hundred your nap and then everybody you meet along the way is just like grilling you <laughs> absolutely guilt tripping him it's 
definitely cutting to the quick here of expressing the actual gravity at hand and you can't run away anymore. You know, you've had your hundred years and we've all been dealing with this. I feel like in animation, I can sometimes tend to forget how young they actually are, but their age and their youth and their innocence definitely really comes into play and is way more prominent almost in this live action version. You know, Aang does feel like a 12 year old. So it's very much like every turn, it's, it feels like a new person is guilt tripping him about the past. He's so resistant to fighting and confrontation and, it, you know, inflicting pain. He never, he tries to avoid that at all costs, but I love what Boomy, you know, said. He's like, when you're at war, you have to fight even if you don't want to. And that's a huge message that definitely plays into the larger arc for Aang. So I'm glad that they're like scratching all these different, you know, internal conflicts for him already. I can't believe we got Secret Tunnel. I'm super glad. Definitely would have missed that if it had been absent here, but that was like fan service and the Cabbage Man as well. There are definitely staying true and trying to incorporate as many of the core you know significant pivotal arcs as they can even if that means having to mesh and blend some of them together you know for the sake of the story and keeping things moving and only having eight episodes I don't know I'm curious to hear if you didn't watch the animated series I'm actually especially curious to hear your thoughts if you feel like this is too many things going on at once like does it feel like it has been taken from a larger story with multiple different you know threads all shoved into the same to try try to make it work and fit like I feel I feel like they have successfully made everything fit and work well together and the changes that they have made have I feel like benefited you know the characters and advanced the story in, in, in a way that feels like it makes sense you know benefits the plot that they're working on so I just I think my favorite part of all of this again the earth bending I think it hit me this episode that might be my favorite of the live action you know bendings how that has translated it just it's visually so impressive the way that they've done it all of the bending really is it's incredibly believable and all of the CGI when it comes to the bending combat is very I've had no complaints just learning every single episode as we travel to these new places that are familiar but then seeing how new this new life you know breathed into them through live action how there's definitely still a flare a new flare with live action and that's been maybe just my favorite part you know of all of this here just seeing how things look and being excited every episode to see these familiar things but just with new with a new lens let me know what you guys thought about this episode here and we are already halfway through we already only have four more left to go right five six seven eight yes we are <laughs> I had to do mental math. It's definitely been very fun to watch. I've really been enjoying every episode so far. I will catch you guys in episode five. But until then, thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Bye, guys.